Hello. In this lesson, you will learn about the general purpose input output port available in the Atmega 328 microcontroller. You will also learn about the registers used to configure, read, and write the GPIO ports. General purpose input output GPIO in short is an interface on a microcontroller which is used to communicate with the external world. The GPIO port or a pin can be used as input to read the data from the peripheral device or as output to send data and control different operations on the interface device. The mode input and output also known as read and write of a pin is configured by the driver software at runtime and can be changed as per the requirement. The protocol used to communicate with the peripheral device is also defined by the driver software. For example, we can use GPIO port to interface liquid crystal display to communicate information to the external world. In the example, the data to be displayed and the control signals are provided over GPIO ports and the busy state of the LCD is read over the GPIO pin. The Atmega 328 microcontroller has three GPIO ports, namely port B, port C, and port D. Port B and port D are 8-bit wide, whereas the port C is 7-bit wide. The ports have true read-modify-write functionality. This means any of the port pins can be configured from read-to-write mode and vice versa. The direction that is the read or write configuration of an individual pin can be changed without affecting that of the other pins on the same port. And the same applies when enabling or disabling the pull-up resistor of respective port pin. The output buffer of GPIO ports have symmetrical drive characteristics. That means the output buffer is equally good at sourcing or sinking the same amount of current through the port pin when driven high or low respectively. The output buffer of the pins uses complementary MOSFET where P and N field effect transistor of closely matched characteristics is used to achieve such symmetrical performance. The Atmega 328 microcontroller can source and sync 40 milliamps of current through its GPIO pins. We must ensure the current limit is respected while interfacing an external peripheral with the microcontroller. However, all the pins of the GPIO ports cannot be used simultaneously as most port pins are multiplexed with alternate functions. For example, the PC6 of port C, that is the pin 1, is used as reset for the microcontroller. Similarly, the bit 6 and 7 of port B can be used as pin change interrupt source or timer oscillator or connected to external crystal for clock generation. We have used these pins to connect 16 MHz crystal oscillator to generate clock signal in our development board. Enabling the alternate function of some of the port pins does not affect the use of other pins in the port as general purpose input and output. Three registers, namely data direction register, data register, and port input register are used to configure the GPIO ports. Each GPIO ports B, C, and D have their own set of control registers. In all, 
Atmega 328 microcontroller has 9 registers to configure the GPIO ports. Apart from these, bit 4 that is pull up disable bit in microcontroller control register MCUCR is used to globally disable the pull up register associated with each port pin. Before discussing further, let us quickly understand the representation used to identify the port registers and individual pins. The same representation is used in the microcontroller reference manual and the register map header file. The first three or four letters are used to identify either of the control registers. X identifies the port numbering letter either B, C or D and the letter N represents the bit from 0 through 7. For example, DDRB3 represents the fourth bit of data direction register of port B. Data direction register is used to configure the GPIO port in input or output mode. The logic 0 sets the port in input mode and the logic 1 in output mode. Data direction register is a read-write register. Data register is used to write data to a port when it is configured in output mode. In input mode, the port register is used to enable or disable the pull-up register. Logic high enables the pull-up register and logic low disables it. The port register is a read-write register. Port input register is used to read data from the port when it is configured in input mode. This is a read-only register. However, writing logic 1 or 0 to the pin register results in the replication of logic level in the corresponding data register. The assembly instruction set bit IO register SBI and clear bit IO register CBI is used to set or clear the individual bit of a port register. This gives flexibility to configure individual bit of a port in read or write mode. The PUD pull up disable bit in microcontroller control register overrides the configuration of the pull up register set by port registers in input mode. Setting the bit to 1 disables pull up registers for all the pin in GPIO ports. However, the status of the pull up disable is disregarded in output mode. The table summarizes the state of a pin, mode of GPIO port and pull up register in various configurations. When data direction register is set to logic low, the IO port is configured as input port. The logic level of the data register decides if pull up register is enabled or disabled. But this can be overridden by PUD bit in MCU CR register. When the pull-up register is disabled, the port pin is tri-stated. Tri-state, also known as high impedance, where no current is sourced or synced to and from the pin, effectively disconnecting the pin from the rest of the circuit. When the data direction register is set to 1, the port is configured as output and used to write data to interfaced peripheral device. Data register set to 1 makes the pin in output high sourcing current to the peripheral device and clearing the data register bit makes the pin in output low state syncing current from the peripheral device. With this, I conclude the lesson. In the next lesson, we shall learn about the read and write operation on the ports. Till then, keep learning.